Welcome to our world news program. Today, we have some gripping headlines to dive into. First up, a major political shakeup in the Middle East as Iran's President Ebrahim Raisi tragically dies in a helicopter crash. This unexpected event could have far reaching implications for the region's stability and power dynamics. Next, ever wondered what's driving those bizarre snack flavors like Sour Patch Kids Oreos and Peeps Pepsi? We'll explore how food companies are capitalizing on adventurous consumer tastes and the role of social media in this flavorful revolution. Lastly, the stock market is buzzing with excitement as Asian stocks climb following Wall Street's record-breaking week. With the Dow Jones Industrial Average crossing the 40,000 mark, investors are riding high on this wave of optimism. Please stay tuned for the detailed coverage of these stories and more. Please continue to watch for the full details. The Associated Press, Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi, a hardline protege of the Supreme Leader, died at 63 in a helicopter crash in northwestern Iran. Raisi, who had overseen mass executions in 1988 and led Iran during heightened tensions with the West, was a central figure in the country's political landscape. His death, alongside Iran's foreign minister and other officials, comes at a time of internal dissent and strained international relations. Raisi's tenure was marked by a pushback against international inspections of Iran's nuclear program and a significant drone and missile attack on Israel. His rise to power was facilitated by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, who had groomed Raisi for leadership, possibly even as a future Supreme Leader. Despite his controversial past, Raisi maintained a significant influence, having been appointed to lead the Imam Reza Charity Foundation, one of Iran's most substantial and opaque charitable organizations. His sudden death leaves a significant void in Iran's political hierarchy, raising questions about the country's future direction. Associated Press, the food and beverage industry is increasingly experimenting with surprising flavor combinations to capture the attention of adventurous consumers. Companies like Van Leeuwen Ice Cream and Mondelez International are introducing limited-edition products such as Hidden Valley Ranch Ice Cream and Sour Patch Kids Oreos. These novel flavors, often seen as social media stunts, are actually strategic moves to keep brands relevant and distinct in a crowded market. Experts note that consumers today crave a mix of flavors, pushing brands to explore more creative and unconventional combinations. The rise of Generation Z, known for their diverse and adventurous palettes, is also fueling this trend. While some combinations, like Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Ice Cream, have been successful, others, such as Hidden Valley Ranch Ice Cream, have lower eatability. Nonetheless, these experimental flavors can boost brand visibility and attract new customers, even if they don't become permanent offerings. Associated Press, rescuers found the helicopter carrying Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi and other officials in the mountainous northwest of Iran, but reported no sign of life. The helicopter had crashed near Jalfa, on the border with Azerbaijan, and the officials had been missing for over 12 hours. Raisi was traveling with Iran's foreign minister Hossein Emir Abdelayan and other prominent figures. The crash, described variously as a hard landing or an incident, has significant implications for the Middle East, where Iran wields considerable influence through its support of armed groups in Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Yemen, and the Palestinian territories. The incident follows heightened tensions, with Iran launching hundreds of drones and ballistic missiles at Israel in response to an airstrike on an Iranian consulate in Syria. The crash not only marks a tragic loss for Iran but also adds a new dimension to the already volatile regional dynamics. Associated Press South China Morning Post India is poised to increase its influence in Sri Lanka as Indian companies secure significant deals in the energy and logistics sectors. A notable agreement includes a 20-year power purchase deal with Adani Green Energy, which is constructing wind power stations in Sri Lanka's northern province. Additionally, the management of Madala Rajapaksa International Airport has been awarded to an Indian-Russian joint venture. These moves are seen as part of India's strategy to strengthen its economic foothold in Sri Lanka, which declared bankruptcy in 2022 and suspended loan repayments. Analysts view these developments as India gaining leverage over China in their regional rivalry. Despite these deals, Sri Lanka continues to maintain its relationship with China, balancing its economic policies to benefit from both nations. However, some critics argue that the focus on service sectors like tourism may not be sustainable for Sri Lanka's economy in the long term. Yahoo US. Vietnam's government is prioritizing economic growth amid global challenges, Deputy Prime Minister Le Minh Cai announced. Despite being one of Asia's fastest-growing economies, Vietnam faces obstacles such as weak global demand and high inflationary pressures. 
The government aims for a GDP growth of 6% to 6.5% this year, slightly above the International Monetary Fund's projection of 5.8%, and targets inflation between 4% and 4.5%. Measures to support businesses include lowering lending rates, delaying debt payments, and reducing taxes. Although the Israel-Hamas conflict has had limited economic impact so far, any escalation involving Iran could disrupt global trade significantly. Vietnam's economy slowed in the first quarter due to uneven export and manufacturing recovery, but political stability is expected to boost investor confidence. Recent appointments in the Communist Party signal a return to stability, which could further support economic sentiment going forward. Associated Press, South Korea is poised to host a mini-summit this week focusing on the risks and regulation of artificial intelligence, building on last year's inaugural AI safety meeting in Britain. This gathering in Seoul aims to continue the work started at the UK meeting, which took place at a historic wartime codebreaking base in Bletchley and featured a diverse array of tech luminaries, researchers, and officials, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk and OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. The Bletchley Declaration, signed by delegates from over two dozen countries including the US and China, underscored the need to address the potentially catastrophic risks posed by rapid AI advancements. South Korea's summit will see leaders like President Yoon suk yeol and British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak joining virtually on the first day, while digital ministers will convene in person on the second day to share best practices and action plans. Topics of discussion will range from safeguarding against AI's impact on energy use and labor markets to combating misinformation. The meeting, which serves as a precursor to a full-fledged summit in Paris later this year, will include representatives from major AI players like OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft. Despite the ambitious scope, experts like Professor Lee sung yob from Korea University caution that achieving a consensus will be challenging due to differing national interests and levels of AI development. As Meta, OpenAI, and Google continue to roll out advanced AI models, the Seoul Summit seeks to establish global governance norms, though some critics argue that South Korea's AI infrastructure may not yet be robust enough to lead such initiatives. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.